Hey guys, welcome to another video. We are back in Daisy 1.19, which has just recently gone live on the stable servers. In this video, I'm going to be doing my usual looting guide. I'm going to be looking at any changes I've personally experienced in game. This can include frequency, new patterns, changes where items are looting, the condition of items, and new things that have been included with this patch. It's not focused on military or civilian in particular, it's just really designed to be helpful and useful so when you go in you can loot up more quickly and find those items that you need to optimise your enjoyment of Daisy. So, let's get started. Tip 1. Probably the biggest change to 1.19 is that loot can now spawn damaged in varying conditions. So worn, badly damaged, damaged, you can see here these boxes of ammo that are picked up are a variety of conditions. And it seems to affect everything. I have noticed a few trends, like for example at the military base, the SKS is here, they're all badly damaged. I haven't found one in any other condition. But it also affects things like magazines, sites, food. So if you take damage to your backpack, then things are going to be ruined much more quickly. But to countermand this, they have introduced more sewing kits and leather repair kits, for example. So they're appearing more frequently. So when you see those, don't forget to pick them up because you can fix your clothing and other items that are going to be damaged. So bear this in mind. Things now spawn damaged. Tip 2. You can now find backpacks in containers. It's been a long time since I've seen a backpack spawn in one of these. And I'm pretty sure it's new to this patch. Tip 3. Carrying on with the containers, if we look at the military container, what I'm finding is that they are spawning field vests, which is awesome, but also another piece of loot. So you can find two pieces of military loot in a container. It was one They've upped it to two, which is awesome. The military container can also spawn assault backpacks, which is brand new and very awesome. Tip four. Loot is now spawning in the back of these vehicles, these trucks. You can see there's one item, frying pan, in the back up there. So we've got the blue van again and in the back we've got a SKS with a scope. Tip 5. Loot doesn't spawn in the apartment buildings in Chernus. There's just too many of them and the server can't handle so many spawning locations anymore unfortunately. So they still don't have loot in these buildings but they do have them on the Livonia server where they've got a few apartment buildings and so less pressure on the server. Tip 6. It seems as if with this update items are spawning on shelves and on ledges much more readily and much more realistically. So for example we're in the hospital here and we now have loot spawning around the corner which it wasn't doing on the shelving. I'm going to show you some more examples of what I mean. The reason why I give this tip is because it's all about looking in the right place. Sometimes it can be missed because we automatically expect things to be in particular locations. But now they seem to have updated it to make it more realistic, which is great. Another example of finding something on a shelf that is tucked away is here. You see, we're in the police station and there's a mag on this little shelf here on this bookcase. Hasn't spawned there before. So keep your eyes peeled. Another hidden little ledge in the police station is down here on these boxes. Tip 7. In the office building with the waiting area downstairs it may be some sort of hospital I don't know. don't think it is but I call it the office building. If you go right up to the almost the top where you've got the two rooms. One of the rooms has a gun spawning spot here, is a deagle, but you can also get flags up here. There are 
a fairly limited number of spaces you can find flags and this is one of them. Tip 8. I'm finding that the barbed baseball bat is spawning in the police station. I don't know why exactly that is. Maybe they find it useful. Tip 9. I'm finding that police zombies or infected are spawning quite a lot of loot so for example we've got a stab vest here and a hat torch we've got the pioneer map Mac with four bullets in there and some 5.45 rounds I mean that is five items on one police zombie which is really good definitely makes them worth taking down tip 10 when the server restarts most doors shut again but some don't not all doors shut usually if the doors are shut after restart it means that there's nobody there there's nobody been around but occasionally you'll find that some doors are open this doesn't mean that there's necessarily anybody nearby but if you find that say all the doors along this side here are open then there's definitely someone around tip 11 ammo is spawning in smaller stacks you can see we have three in the stack of 45s but these stacks are spawning more frequently so we've also got another stack over here of 45s and there's six there now this means there's a higher chance of finding ammo tip 12 these little green sentry houses guard posts are definitely worth checking here I've got a repeater carbine stashed away at the back and often you can find ammo or other weapons in this location definitely makes them worthwhile they go through changes this particular building sometimes they'll have nothing on a patch but with this current one you can find good loot in these buildings tip 13 bus stops or bus stations with these green tiled walls are still excellent for loot if they have shelving see the shelving here so you've got some buckshot some clothes a knife some food the same goes for over here so this is carried across to this patch you can usually usually guarantee to find food on these tip 14 the SSG 82 now spawns in police stations this is new to this patch it's a brand new gun and it comes with a sight you can see here tip 15 the fun fairs you can find around the map I think there's maybe four or five are now spawning more items they've always had some ammo or something of that ilk in these shooting stalls but now you can get tents food and water in these trays at the front the fireworks launches which are cool I don't know how long they're going to be in the game at the moment you can get more tents there's another tent over here clothing another thing you can pick up at the fun fairs are these ballistic vests old school daisy style tip 16 the CR 527 is now more common in game you can see it here it will often spawn with a damaged scope and even a magazine which is very handy because the ammo itself is harder to come by there have also been a few other changes we now have the BK-12 shotgun single single shot and the Mosin is rarer and it's more limited to farm and smaller villages along with the ammo that goes with it as well as some military zones tip 17 the spillover rule still applies to this patch 
Now, it's not much of a surprise, but here's an example. We have a firefighter's axe. It's the only one in the building. But, if we go to the outside of the building, where we've got some garages... The loot has spilled over into these zones. We've got two firefighters' axes, one in each of these garages here, with some gas masks. Often I find better loot out outside the main building, rather than inside. Tip 18. When you're at these military bases, don't forget to check these vehicles. The M1025, or the Hummers. Because inside there is ammo. There's also ammo on top, you can see up here. Which you've got to climb up to get. Tip 19. You may run into these super strong radioactive zombies. They take quite a bit to kill. What you'll find is that these drop medical loot. They're like mummies. They've been treated or... If you look at them, they're covered in bandages. Their bodies are burnt. They drop medical loot. Like this one here. You've got some bits and pieces. Uh, but also human steak, human meat. So they're cannibal mummies beforehand. Or something like that. Severely burnt. Tip 20. When you're at the military base, don't forget to check these industrial buildings. Mechanics workshops. What I'm finding is that a lot of the original buildings, the main military buildings, are checked or looted. But these ones sometimes are left. Not only can you find the high-end assault rifles like the M16 but you can also find things like the blowtorch which is a new item for this patch and ammo and all sorts of things and these shelves you know they're they're pretty busy so definitely recommend checking out these buildings at the military bases so guys there's my tips for the new patch I hope you find them useful if you did click the thumbs up if you haven't subbed already it would be awesome if you could and I will see you again very soon.